in the last episode of ftb interactions we got ourselves into logistics pipes just a little bit and we were ending up a little bit confused so in between episodes i did a little bit of research and i also basically went and did compiled all the research did all the things and i figured out how this mod works now so for certain things like for example the request logic pipe mk2 you have to flash a program from the program compiler onto one of these logistics programmers like so so if i want bridging pipes i flash this with that and then we come over and i think we just find the bridging pipes from logistics pipes here and you can see when we click on that it requires the bridge pipe programmer which we just taught how to make right so that's kind of how you kind of use the programmer the first thing that i want to do today for progress though is going to be making the drawer controller which we're going to need some mv circuits for and a few other things as well we need polyethylene sheets oh we're gonna need man well hold on let's take a look we're actually gonna need mana diamonds for this okay liquid starlight catalyst yields 0.8 durability 100 interesting what does that even mean can i make this i would assume i can like make this with primal mana or something right unstable mana how does one get unstable mana unstable mana is yeah i am not sure if we have access to drawers yet because that's a lot of work right and when do we unlock botania we well we need flawless diamonds for one which requires the gem refiner the gem refiner is this multi-block structure okay so maybe not their drawer controller so i think then we're gonna have to do some crazy thing and make a provider pipe i believe that's what they're called right the provider pipes yeah the provider pipes logistics provider pipe which means i'm gonna need the logistics provider logistics pipes taught here so i need one of those program things again and hopefully we can make this because that would be so good if we can make this right we're gonna have to put it on every single one of these drawers but that's probably gonna cause a lot of lag if i had a guess right which honestly i'm not really a huge fan of but i guess we'll we'll figure it out right i mean no one's a huge fan of lag no one likes lag right and there you go let's go ahead and do that and we should be able to go ahead and teach this thing how to make the logistic provider pipes yes we just got to teach it how to do this first so logistics provider thingy teach it that perfect and then what we're gonna do is uh throw it on here and creative it and then grab a bunch of it oh my god i've been playing a lot of ninjas packs you know in ninjas packs if you don't know uh the nimble ninja that is the item stacks are like 2000 and going back to you know 64 is always a tricky one for me and then i just do this and now i'm gonna put these on all of these and yeah having this many logistics provider pipes can't cause any lag right am i right oh god i hope this is not gonna be like the end of the series because i locked up my base because we have too many freaking logistics pipes oh boy uh okay so this is the basic logistics pipes now the problem is i can't get underneath the base so i think what i'm gonna do for now is i'm just gonna run a pipe across i know this is a jank as hell but oh god they all came online so we now need the request table i want to say and we should be able to make this now right because we've got all the good pipes i believe the request table just requires crafting logic logistics pipe oh god okay uh no that's gonna give me the result one i want the crafting one is there a difference there might be a difference let me get a program loaded and see if that will make a difference here i believe there is a crafting logistics pipe one yeah flash that bad boy and then dude every time i see the word flash i think of something very very nutty but yeah let's go ahead and try this instead so i want the no i want the 
crafting logistics pipe like so and then we're gonna go ahead and teach this to the drawer system and then also having the provider yes the provider guy like so and then do something like that you're gonna get taught the crafting boys like so give me one of those i think we're pretty much ready to go ahead and make the request table now we just need the request table it's gonna require a chest and then we're gonna need one of those machine block casing things i'm gonna be honest i cannot wait to get this request table dude being able to search for stuff is going to be a game changer and boom just like that we should have access to the logistics request table jesus christ why is that so difficult to say and then let's go ahead and put this on our network somewhere it should be good and then logistics pipe to that bad boy how does this work i have no oh boy yes and we should be able to craft stuff now right so if i want to say like let's craft there's something i can craft here uh i guess here we request 38 oh my god i wish we had drawer controllers though but we can't make them because we need a lot of stuff like mana diamonds which needs flawless diamonds i guess we can get from purified diamond here scission laser engraver that doesn't work cutting saw lv exquisite diamonds and i guess the only way to get it realistically is if i just or wash crushed diamonds which i mean i guess we can do have we even found diamond ore yet i just don't think we found any diamond ore yet so i went to the overworld and quickly grabbed myself some diamond ore and we want to take this diamond ore and we want to crush it down into its crushed variant wash it and then we need to build a sifting machine so there's a compressor there's the macerator so break that down while we're waiting let's see if i can go ahead and make the sifting machine that shouldn't be too hard i don't think assuming that we already don't have one yeah i don't think we already don't have one not yet at least okay so the sifting machine oh yeah there we go the sifting machine we're gonna, definitely gonna have to hide that for now pop that in here do that and i guess let's see oh it's gonna tell me which ones i want to use okay that one and then that one and then do i just eh, missing item filters an mv machine haul buddy we do have the mv machine haul do we did i not creative that i might not have creative that out honestly i'm not seeing it here boom the lv machine haul is crafted and you know what that means right that means it's time to create of it and and place that bad boy down like so i'm gonna put that in there and bam bam boom give that a creative thing also can i quickly request the vending upgrade and i request like i don't know like a stack of this stuff so if i do this and then oh we don't have the creating vending upgrades and vendings that's right i totally forgot about that that's my bad i have to grab them from in here i'm silly now that we have that we should be able to go ahead and say hey can i please get a sifting machine you're probably still not gonna like it but let me request all the things it's still gonna say that we don't have two item filters that's fine but it should get all the other things and i make item filters i am gonna need more steel plates and zinc foil okay so zinc do i have zinc zinc was one of those weird ones that i couldn't find earlier uh zinc is going to be so i need to find spell right or and that's gonna be our best option and it spawns under the flaming berry bush i suddenly decided that our new goal for today is to get to the nether to make mobs like a hundred times harder so but to make progress i need to make a single bucket of liquid death which we need to figure out how to do which means we need to get into thomcraft some more i'm gonna be honest here i'm a bit tired of struggling i'm almost tempted to completely fill our emc to get the other creative stuff from greg tech here i believe they're called yeah the creative quantum chest and that's like what million billion 100 quadrillion emc i mean we're very far off of that but i am just tired of struggling man like i want to just go super fast right and we can you know 
have a lot of fun that way but yeah i'm gonna go find a astral sorcery temple excuse me guy uh don't know what you're doing but uh i'm gonna sneak on past you there's one right over here i believe there is some stuff in here that we want so i'm gonna go take a quick peek into it there should be some chests in here with the papers i thought i guess this one didn't bring any papers that's kind of annoying if that's the case we can just get it from the other creative thing but yeah i've got to go from 100 million emc up to 100 quadrillion emc this is gonna take a while dear god that took forever it was a hundred trillion emc for one of these mistakes were made when i set this thing up dear god but we have it now which means i can take this now come up here put this there put this in here put this there oh boy that is so much emc now there's a reason why i grabbed these though so the reason why I wanted to grab this is because, yeah, I can't be fussed to go finding like things like buildings, astro temples and stuff. So what I can do now is just say, hey, I want some, uh, what are those constellation papers? Drag it in here. And let's say like we want one every 20 ticks. That's one every second here. Now I can take all these and get all the things. So that should have unlocked some stuff for us. The potion flask, blurred vision, interesting. I don't really care about that. I care about the rare earth though. The amber bearing stone, which looks like I can't find, oh, wait a second. So I don't think we're quite ready to do that, but what I am quite ready for is, you guessed it, coming over here and saying, this is my series. This is my creative series. I can do what I want. Come over here, grab some of this ore really fast. That shouldn't be that difficult. Boom, bam, boom. And hopefully we can break it with an iron pickaxe. I'm not entirely sure. All my stuff's over here. Where am I going? Dude, I really want to go to the nether. I want to see what the nether looks like. It's probably awful if I had to guess. What do I can get rid of here? Rock crystals. Lovely. Oh, I love rock crystals. Yeah, no. From Ozone, dude. This uh this is from Ozone. And I have so much PTSD from this. Astro Sorcery isn't a bad mod. It's just, you know, when you have to do the whole like telescope thing, it's pretty bad. But I take this guy and I assume it's some marble that I have over here somewhere. Okay, so I think I can come over here now. I do have a bit of marble. I need the light well. So the light well is going to be a glass lens. One of those, one of those. Oh no, sorry, three of those. I need chiseled marble and then two iron plates. The iron plates is not the problem. So I can come over here, just quickly request iron plates. I don't have that, but I have blocks. So I'll request a block, that's fine. I'm gonna need marble. So let's grab some of that. Uh, request like a stack of that, that's 75. Oh god, no. Request a stack of that. That's fine. I am gonna need a chisel if I have one. I think I have one in my table, so that's fine. And then I think I'm gonna need to figure out how to make glass lens because that's gonna be totally a thing that we're gonna need to make here. A glass lens can be made pouring molten glass on top of a gem cast. Do I have a gem cast? That doesn't really matter though, to be fair, because we can just chisel a normal cast into a gem cast if we need to so there's our gem cast and then we're gonna want one ish block of glass here which shouldn't be hard i wonder if we have like a logistics system wireless remote thing because that would be super nice and convenient but i don't think we do have that so glass i guess request one that should be more than fine oh dude i love legit oh dude i wish i knew how to use this mod more did it request the glass yes one glass requested successfully there it is i was like where is it it's not in there okay so i should be able to pour this onto that and that should give me the glass lens you know what honestly i'm gonna take out all these fires not because it's annoying but i feel like that like can like increase my fps just a little bit now that we're actually got all these logistics pipes on our network and um causing us a bit of hassle so we need three engraved 
and then two chiseled okay that's fine so take this put this in there give me the three engraved i gotta find them now that's going to be the engraved boy that's so weird it they're not like all matching right, there's your engraved is it engraved no it's freaking ruined is smart one there's a marble marble pillars marble bricks wait is that one not even here yeah that one's not even in here how does one get this guy it's a crafting recipe with fine steel wire and marble arches and chiseled marble in the arcane crafting table okay that's fair and then we just need two chiseled two chiseled wait a minute hold on i think we got some though if i'm not mistaken by robbing one of the temples i'm pretty sure i thought oh yeah we have four in my inventory let's creative that actually because i don't want to go through all that pain of having to craft that again so i'm just going to <clears throat> make sure that uh, i never have to craft it again all right i need three of those guys and then i need i believe two of the chiseled marbles okay so two more chiseled please and that's gonna be here take these out put these in the chiseled marble and then i need the luminous crafting table have i even made this yet i probably haven't even made this yet the luminous crafting table okay so we should be able to put down our luminous crafting table let me go grab it so luminous crafting table like so put that bad boy down and we should be able to go ahead and make the light well we just need the glass lens which i thought i crafted but also we need iron plates so let's go ahead and break that down uh where did my iron block go break that down and then make some quick and dirty plates you know what we are gonna need though we are gonna need a special wand from astro sorcery we're gonna need the resonating wand this guy here the resonating wand that's gonna need some mana some brass plates some demon will and some marble Ooh, demon will how does one right we gotta throw snares at mobs oh no no, I actually had to fight mobs. Oh no, that's fine. So take this, throw that in there. And then they want a raw crystal and then some ruined like so. And then of course your two iron plates. Thank God that stays there. And then I could just grab the, whatchamacallit, from the creative chest here. But yeah, I'm gonna have to figure a way to fight mobs without getting my face at absolutely destroyed because apparently mobs in this are ridiculously hard so yeah there's that uh and then we need just chiseled marble which i think we already have but again we're gonna need to get some other stuff before we even do this so bam we can't start the craft because we don't have the wand we have to make the wand which the wand is gonna require some brass plates which we can totally do that's fine but this demon will which means we're gonna need to make this snare which is gonna need glass shards coagulated blood which coagulated blood comes from blood in this system using rotten flesh i'm gonna go to the overworld and and I'm gonna fight a bunch of mobs. I'm gonna try and fight mainly like zombies and things i'm hoping i'm not gonna get my face wrecked but uh no promises i do gotta say the quality of life that i've gotten once i've hooked up this logistics system has been so nice and then we're just waiting for that to make the thing and then we don't need anything else but wire cutters now i should be able to take this and put this in here with the glass and then of course or uh local valence dust times four i totally forgot to grab those local valence dust times four one two three and four request those and then let's go get a thing of coagulated blood oh my god it turned into beef jerky why did it turn into beef jerky uh hold on how did i even make this rotten flesh five minutes oh i'm smart i was supposed to put it into the thing whoops it's supposed to go into the freaking melter i got food out of it oh god let me break this down and then bloody put this back and then cook that up thank god it's very fast actually i don't know how much i just got but i'm supposed to take this coagulated blood and then that's gonna be how many mill buckets 160 with coagulated blood acquired i take this i shove it in here 
here. You know what? I did forget to get the thing from the request table here. Bam, the local valence dust. Throw that in here and get ourselves some snares. And then with the snary boys, I believe we throw these at mobs and then the mobs get this particle effect. And then we get demon will i believe that's how this works yes indeed that is how it works because i got myself a 1.85 demon will crystal let's go that's pretty poggers it's pretty hype okay throw that in there grab this guy this guy is then used to make i want to say yeah it's used to make my wand so we need brass plate and then some sort of marble. Uh, can I get some brass, please? Uh, I need two brass plates. So request two of those bad boys. And I've already got some marble on me. So I don't think that's going to be too ha much of a hassle. Once this guy comes and gives me the alchemical brass. Beautiful. That's going to be put in here to make some plates like so. And then we're going to go over there and hopefully have everything that we need. Ooh, not the right brass plates right there's two different type of brass plates so yeah we're looking for the thumb craft one this one here which okay good it can be converted via the crafting table like so good i was a bit worried there that that wasn't gonna be the case i can come over here and hopefully make my wand i'm not sure what i'm gonna need here a saw perfect and then there's our resonating wand Let's quickly start this craft before it becomes daytime because we totally have enough for this and this should give us access to the starlight white light well beautiful that came just in the nick of time as the sun is coming up but unfortunately guys we are out of time for today's episode so with that being said if you guys did enjoy today's episode please do me a huge favor smash the like button smash the subscribe button ding that notification bell become part of the hunter tribe as always guys and love you i'm gonna leave you till next time Bye. -bye.